Okay, hi, me again. Um, we're alchemy video six. We're on conjunction. Conjunction is the fourth alchemical process of transmutation. Um, conjunction is the iron chakra. It's the iron process. Um, so it's at the iron chakra, your anahata chakra, your heart chakra. Um, now we're in the middle of the whole process. You're in the middle of the chakras. You're in the middle of the process. You're this is called the lesser stone. Um, the completion of the alchemical transmutation process being the accomplishment of the philosopher's stone. This is the lesser stone. Once you get here, it's like a, it's like a checkpoint. Um, so its ruling element is earth. Uh, chemical representation, potassium nitrate. Um, iron is Mars. Mars is action. Action is... Um, it's ruled by fire in that, um, you know, Earth is, is in the Tetragrammaton, second hay is also a yod, so Earth is just a germ, it's like a, it's like the clothing around the fire, or, you know, leads to the fire, it's a transition. Earth has always been a transition. Anyway, um, conjunction is that transitional stage of the process. Um, chemically conjunction or joining together is the process of recombining the saved elements from separation into a new substance. The chemical representation of this process is what the early alchemists called nitron and what we commonly call table salt, nitric acid. Aquafortis was made by mixing potassium nitrate with sulfuric acid and it was used to separate silver from gold and whatnot. Separation, conjunction, they're equal opposites. Uh, psychically, conjunction is the polarization of masculine and feminine energies, creating a new balanced state of consciousness. Conjunction is Tiferet on the Tree of Life, which is harmony um, and the achievement that comes with the potential for direct nonlinear intuition. It's essentially, a superpower gut instinct. Um, physiologically, conjunction takes place in the Anahata or the iron chakra. This is where healing becomes evident. The heart chakra intakes light and outputs love. Psychologically, conjunction is the new beginning you make for yourself by completing the first three steps of the alchemical transmutation process. The common term for conjunction is the lesser stone. This title is a marker for completion of the first half of the process. The fourth step is a halfway point to the philosopher's stone, which is the allegorical term for completion of the process. The legendary gem which gave the holder unlimited power and everlasting life. This was the gold from the lead. The higher being of man from the lowly matter encased Malkuth being. The lesser stone, once achieved, means that as long as you don't fall back into old habits or get pulled off course by worldly distractions, everything gets better. You have killed your selfishness and stopped feeding your ego. You have accepted the reality of this realm and your part in it. You have let go of the baggage that held you down. You've reset your course with more beneficial goals. Now all you have to do is rebuild. You know that you know what doesn't work, and now it's time to find out what does. In the tarot, the alchemical symbol for this process is the hermaphrodite, a perfect union of masculine and feminine energies working together. This union is more than a connection of male and female. A connection is two energies in agreement. This is a unification, one being possessing the whole of possibilities endowed by a unified duality. This is the true meaning of the phrase, when two become one. Two forces of nature, fire and water, male and female, light and dark, working together for long-term success. This is the Christ or higher being in man. Binding itself to, in marriage, which is a deliberate intention of unification to the church or seed, which is the lower matter encased spirit of man. Two do not become one by signing a bill of sale and having a ceremony. Two become one when masculine and feminine energies combine and resolve to work together in union for a better spiritual journey. Conjunction is super easy. Um, you know, step one, calcination, super fuck your life up. Step two, dissolution, feel some type of way about it. 
Step three, separation. Um, strategize. Make a plan and separate yourself from that which will end you back up where you fucking started in this mess to begin with. Step four, conjunction. Start putting your pieces back together. Start rebuilding. You have a goal now. You have a plan. You, you have pillars. You know how to make good choices. This is the action part of the intention from before. Separation is all about intention, self-discipline, self-control, strategy. Conjunction is about action, okay? We, we're putting work in. We're breaking a sweat. We're putting work in right now. Conjunction might take a while. Um, you have to... You have to give yourself time, you know? Time to figure out if adjustments, if adjustments need to be made to the plan or if the plan needs to be reevaluated altogether, you know, if it's your first time rebuilding your life from scratch, you, you might fuck up a, a year or two, you know? <laughs> I mean, you know people, everybody knows somebody who had this really amazing relationship for a couple years and then this really horrible divorce and then they don't know who they are anymore you know and they they don't know what to do and it takes them like a year just to go through the separation phase you know or maybe more and then after they've gone through the separation phase now they're in conjunction and their life is you know they're sort of like trying to get on track you know they got a new job they got refocused they quit drinking you know whatever it is that they they separated out of their life or whatever they've sort of got a handle on it now so then they get to conjunction and they're like now I need to rebuild how do I do that what do I do you know some people need a support group and some people need church and some people need whatever it is that they need to help them give them that extra push you know but it really is just you making that decision every day to rebuild to put in effort to put in work I mean that's what conjunction is it's work um it is in the in the Anahata chakra, um, it is the chakra that is sort of I I call it the Peter Pan syndrome, where you have to connect the Anahata to the Ajna in order for either of them to really work. <laughs> so um, I call it the Peter Pan because um, you know Peter Pan could only fly if he thought happy if he could think happy thoughts. You know, he hold on to that happy thought and then he could fly. Same scenario. You know, if you want to heal yourself or others, your life, your situation, your body, whatever you want to heal, you have to do it thinking happy thoughts. You know, you have to, obviously you have to focus on the healing process, but it, it only works if you're optimistic about it. It only works if you believe it's going to work. It only works if you put constant effort into it. Um, and then, you know, you connect it with your Ajna as in like, you know, you, you see more than what's on the surface. You see beyond what's there. You see the potential of what it could be. And that's part of, you know, the Anahata. Anything that Anahata is is incorporated into is powerful and it requires much power from you. So, um, yeah, conjunction, it sounds like it's easy, you know, let's just start rebuilding and put in work, you know, general labor, let's do it. But it's not easy. Nothing in the alchemical transmutation process is easy. You know, even if you broke it down in chemistry and you were, you know, working with chemicals on a table in front of you and you were separated out all the shit and now you're trying to combine it and to make a new chemical, that shit is not easy. <laughs> Try it. It's, it's not a whole lot of fun. It's sticky. It's goopy. It's sandy. The textures aren't always what you want them to be. The consistencies are never right the first time. It's like making gravy. You ever try to make gravy from scratch? Like flour and stuff? Like gravy is like the hardest shit to make. Um, it's the consistency. It's the texture of it. You need to be consistent and you need to be just hard enough and just soft enough and getting that balance which is what Tiferet and Anahata are all about getting that balance is hard and you're gonna not get it the first couple times um <laughs> it's the only way i can really describe it is compare it to gravy <laughs> i'm sorry um obviously i'm not a chef uh, not a whole lot of experience in that area working on it you know i'm a casserole queen but um yeah conjunction's like a big ass casserole <laughs> you know? 
just all of the pieces of your previous life that you saved from separation, you know, that don't really go together, but still part of you. Uh, you got to figure out how to make them work together and, and taste good. <laughs> Not leave a bad taste in your mouth or someone else's, you know. That's um, metaphorically, that's all I got. <laughs> I'm sorry. Conjunction is, um, it's a, it's a, it's a checkpoint, you know, like you're good once you get here. Cause you've already got the right mindset, you know, you've already got the perspective you need to have and you've already eliminated the ego centric portion of your, of your planning. And now that you put in the work, you're going to have the right tools. You're going to you're going to have the right manpower. You're going to do it yourself. You're not going to hire someone to do it. You're going to do it yourself and it's going to be done right because you did it yourself. And that's the most important thing is that it's done right because you did it yourself with wholehearted effort. So yeah, conjunction. Um, after conjunction is uh, fermentation, which is like where you live. <laughs> it's like you spend a lifetime in fermentation. That's calm. I think that's where I currently am actually is in fermentation. Um, but we'll get into that. It's uh, it's a bit much. 